Hi, it's uh, Dr. Kent Holtorf here with the Holtorf Medical Group. Wanted to talk today about PMS, premenstrual syndrome. Very, very common and kind of becomes a joke in some women, like, you know, stay away from me during that time of the month, but can be very debilitating. And uh, with the irritableness, the breast tenderness, the bloating, the anxiety that's associated with that time of the month, and uh, many women are told just live with it or take a birth control pill, which oftentimes doesn't alleviate the symptoms. But this is due to a hormone imbalance. A uh, number of, of, of hormones play a key role, including progesterone. So what happens is, as the first part of your cycle, estrogen levels rise, the second part, the progesterone should rise. If it doesn't, you get those signs of high estrogen, so that irritableness and all the signs of PMS. So by giving progesterone, you can alleviate a lot of those symptoms. Typically, creams can work, but oral is actually much better. But you need to find a doctor that can combine the two and depending on your uh, what's really going on. Also, we're finding studies are showing low thyroid can really contribute to PMS. But again, as we talked about uh, before in the video blog about the standard thyroid test, the standard thyroid test will often miss it because the TSH is normal. But by giving thyroid replacement, bringing those thyroid levels to optimal, oftentimes the PMS goes away. And this is well documented in numerous studies, but it's uh, surprisingly many, uh, most doctors don't, don't know the relationship. Um, other things that can be done, uh, some nutritional supplements can help. We have one we call My Husband Thanks You, and um, kind of a funny name, but it, you know, we get husbands, <laughs> women call and say, my husband does thank you. And it can really help against balance those hormones and, and, and relieve, of those, uh, relieve you of those PMS symptoms. Again, you don't have to live with it. Your husband doesn't have to live with it or your significant other. So there's things that you can do and you don't have to just live with it.